Do you know networking is more than just connecting cables? In this video, we are going to discuss just that. What exactly is networking? Hi, my name is Sudhanshu. I'm a CCI certified and I train here people at iMedita for networking into routing, switching and VoIP. So let's talk about what is networking. Okay. Often at times when I discuss with people who are not really network engineers or who are just end users, uh, they have little idea about networking and they just think okay you know it is just a guy connecting cables and devices and with magic everything works. It's not that actually. Uh, in networking basically it's you do selection of uh, different devices. There are different devices available like you know routers, switches, there is security equipment like firewalls. So it's more than just connecting cables. It's about you know uh, selection of protocols that you will deploy. It's about also selection of you know some policies for the network. Like we might allow a certain traffic, we might not allow a certain traffic okay which does not uh, you know uh, follow the corporate policy. So uh, in whole you know when we talk what is networking networking is about you know construction design use of the network uh, using equipments to build that network defining the policies even documenting all that okay so we also sometimes deploy quality of service things like that where we define a certain amount of bandwidth for a certain person or you know for a certain application we define an upper limit okay we might also drop certain traffic, so that is also what comes under QS and finally comes under networking. So next let's discuss what does a network engineer do in this. Okay. When you say construction of anything, okay, basically there is planning required. Okay. You have to define what things will be used where and uh, how things will be connecting with each other. Plus at the same time you design a high level diagram, you de design a low level diagram having uh, specific details the high level diagram will have the more general details maybe you know uh, in terms of how the data will flow okay but at the same time a low level diagram will include very small details as in okay fast Ethernet 0 slash 24 port number of switch this will connect with gig 0 slash or fast this with that so that's the design and planning part okay most commonly you know experienced network engineers do this planning and designing okay then there comes implementing things okay so when you talk about these devices these routers such as firewall basically you can think of them as a computer okay they are a device with an operating system just like your computer has an operating system like a windows or a linux which you are already familiar with similar to that a router will have an operating system or a switch will also have an operating system so when you talk about network engineer, what does, you know, day in day out, what, does, what do they do? So basically they take access of this operating system and then, you know, alter the configuration. Okay. Now when I say configuration, you know, don't confuse it with coding. Okay. Uh, when people think about coding, okay, let's just clarify this a bit. Okay. When you think about coding, you basically define a algorithm of something, maybe, you know, uh, suppose I have to make a code of just adding two numbers okay I'll declare three variables I'll add two put the value in three get it print out this is an algorithm then you write code okay maybe you'll declare variables you'll write some code to do the same thing that's coding part okay when you talk about networking okay you don't do coding of devices often at times people who are beginners or people who don't really know networking they think okay it's coding you take access of operating system and configure a certain thing. What I mean by that is, suppose if I ask you, okay, go into your windows, change your wallpaper, okay, do you code your wallpaper into that? No, you basically go at a certain place in the operating system, do certain things to make the wallpaper change. So basically, you did some configuration of the operating system instead of just coding it, okay. Similar to that, as a network engineer, you don't go into windows, you basically go into the router's operating system or firewall's operating system, alter things, 
Now some firewalls or some devices are uh, graphical user interface based so you can click and uh, do certain things. Most of the times you will find that networking equipments are more inclined towards a command line interface based configuration. So as a network engineer they put in those commands and make the things work according to the requirement. I hope this has been informative.